So as you know, we're working on this 37 pound box of jewelry. There's three bags left, so I'm gonna open another bag today. And I think I'm gonna take that bag that's on the top because it has a lot of metallic jewelry in it. So I'm excited, I've been waiting a long time. So let's get at it. Hi, it's Sherry. Thanks for coming to Blessed Baubles. Thank you for visiting my channel. I hope that you will like and subscribe. Yes, we are a little primitive over here because I'm not really into tech, so I'm not sure how to add this digitally, but let's do it primitively. So I'm glad you're here, and I hope that you will subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified when my next video comes out. Thanks so much. And I did want to also tell you how to purchase. So if you wanted to do a screenshot of this, you're welcome to. But the way you would purchase jewelry that I offer on my channel is to email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com and send me four pieces of information. Number one would be the video name and any episode number it might have. Number two is the timestamps of when your pieces show up during the video, and you can do that by pausing your video and the timestamp will be right there. Also send me brief descriptions of the pieces that you like. And the last but not least is the price that I mentioned on the video. So thank you so much, I hope that helps you. And let's get started. Okay, everyone, so here it is. Here's bag number two of the 37 pound Shop Goodwill box of jewelry. We opened the first bag in 37 pound episode one and two. So this is the second bag. So just look at the title if you get confused about where we are because I know I have to do that. If I don't look at the title of something when you're asking me for a piece of jewelry, I don't know either because it's a lot of jewelry and it's a lot of processing. So let's get going. I've been so busy that I haven't been able to make this next video because once I make this video and offer things for sale, then I also have to process your orders. And I didn't want to make a video and activate orders and not be able to fill them. So I had a busy week to do a lot of things and didn't want to not be able to fill your orders. So I had to put off opening this next bag, which wasn't easy. But that's what my channel is about. It's opening the jewelry right with you guys, showing you just as it comes out. My camera's probably gonna bounce a little bit here, but. I also wanna mention to you all that I'm not a jewelry expert, and any of you that have watched the videos, you know that. But I think it's worth me telling you that I'm not a jewelry expert. And just to keep that in mind, the best I can do is to share the information that I do have and share what I see, what I feel, what tests on the machines that I have. But just always keep in mind that I'm not a jewelry expert. And if you buy something from me and you need to really know about it, you should take it to a gem expert or someone that can really take a look at the gems or whatever piece you need. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd remind you that. I do love to learn about jewelry. I love to share what I know. And I'm still learning a lot too. So please do feel free to add your comments in the comment section about something that we're not sure about. Because in the jewelry community, we all share with each other the information that we have. And it's just a beautiful thing. So right away we have some Francesca's earrings. I had some of these before and they're very well made. So we've got these gold tone. This is like a some kind of window design. I would say that that is what they are. I mean, that would be the maker. And they're in great shape. I would offer these for $6. It's always fun to break the ice and give the first price. Okay, this is just stunning. Is this a ring? Yes, it is a ring, I think. It's quite beautiful. Hmm, but it does feel, you know, it's costume, costume ring. 
So I'm not feeling like it's gold or anything, probably a little plating, but it's very pretty. That would be fun to wear when you needed a little extra sparkle. Um, let me just make sure that there's nothing missing, okay? Gemstones appear to be there. Crystals, oh, actually, is it missing? No, it's like a filigree design, so it's not missing, I apologize. They're all there, and I think that's an acrylic center. So we have this ring that is adjustable. Quite beautiful, quite a large table on it. And let's see what it measures. Feels a bit small. Yeah, it's measuring like four and a half maybe. Oh, then it just wiggled again. So I guess it, you have to go by the adjustable. Looks like it's sitting at a size five. So you make up your mind about that if you're interested. We'll do that one for $4. Also, I'd like to let you know that I invoice through PayPal. So when you do contact me, please make sure I have your PayPal address that if I should bill you or send you an invoice, that I do have the correct PayPal address for you. Sometimes our email address that we use and our PayPal email might be different. So these are nice half hoop earrings sort of like a silver tone or silver plated. They're in great condition, a whole slew of them. So I can either put those in jewelry jars because they're in great shape or not sure. If someone would like those, you're welcome to them for five. Wait, what's the price new? 550, yeah. Okay, so we'll say three, but they're brand new. So that's that one. What's going on here? Okay, so this, aw, this pretty baby's broken. We have a nice wide cuff clamper style bracelet. Has all these beautiful chains wrapped around. And really all it needs is for someone to put a little bit of dab of glue there and maybe put it back in. But hmm, what should I do? Make a big craft bag at the end? I might do that because we know this is not gonna fit in our little craft cup. Speaking of craft cups, today's craft cup is going to be named Jen, J-E-N-N, -N, so that's what that will be. And I would also try to build a jewelry jar that is going to be called Christina. So there you go, and look how fat the jewelry jars are compared to the craft jars, and that's on purpose. I mean, craft material, I try to put nice things in there, so we don't need a ton of room but we want as much room to get a lot of jewelry in there as we can for the jewelry jars. They're not glass, they are plastic, but they're a very pretty plastic that looks like glass. And I like that, that's important to me. Okay, that out of the way. And with this put aside, let's see what else. Looks like a lot of bracelets in here. Nice cuff bracelet. Silver tone with all this different, maybe I should move this back with this beautiful design in it. That is in very good condition too. I like that the items are in good shape. Let's use the magnet to see if it might be sterling or might not be. It's not magneting. That doesn't mean that it's sterling. Let me take a look with the loop and see. You should never know until you look. Yeah, so I don't want to take up too much time on this. I think I'll put it aside and see what I can find out later. Wait, is that a mark? Yes, it is. Okay, goody. I found a mark, and it looks like a Brighton. It's a B for Brighton. Okay, can you see it in there, that little B? So we have a Brighton cuff bracelet. That's wonderful. I've never seen a cuff bracelet of Brighton. It's lovely. Um... How do I measure? You know, I have to tell you guys a story. I've been telling you that I've been waiting on my bracelet measure. Well, I did go on Amazon and I ordered one and I can't print it out for the life of me. I don't know if it was a ripoff thing or what, but I'm gonna have to order a physical one because this one you order it and you wrap it around and you tape it and 
yeah, I cannot get it to print. So this says two and a quarter this way. Brighton bracelet. I don't know what these go for. So let me just say 15 on the Brighton. And we'll see what you guys think. Because I know one thing. If the price is fair, you will, and you love it, you'll definitely um, message me. So I can be confident in that for sure. Another cuff. Wow, this one's heavy. It's lovely silver plated. I do see some tarnishing, so I do believe it's silver plated. But again, let's see if I can find a maker's mark in here. And we'll use our magnet. Yes, it magnets. So this is silver plated, quite chunky. It's in great shape. And you see how it has a little bit of a coppery color here? That's not because the copper is coming through. It's because silver, sterling silver plating starts to tarnish, just like silver does. And I can tell the difference of when it's plated or, I'm sorry, I can tell. I'm talking and looking for my, my um, polishing rag. And I shouldn't do two things at once because you can't make a video and talk at once. But let me show you. If you polish this up a bit, you can tell that it's silver plating because it polishes easily. Anyway, we've got this silver tone cuff. It's quite chunky and we'll say $5 on that. I feel a little bit out of the loop here because I haven't done this in a bit, but <clears throat> we'll get at it. I have a cutie little earring that's stuck. Oh, you know what's going to have to happen. This little pine cone earring that's gold tone. And it's going to have to, you know what it has to do. Wait for your mate. Wait for your mate. You know you got to wait for your mate. On the wait for your mate board. Number one earring. We've got our first one waiting on the board. Oh, this is gorgeous, but it has like a, what they call a dead stone when the stone is a little bit dark, I think. I mean, would that one be a different color than all of these? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And it's prong set and it's vintage. This is gorgeous. I don't know. I might have to ask my jewelry group if this is a Juliana because it does not have a lot of um, rivets in it. Like, there's not a lot of rivets holding it together. And that's one of those signs of Juliana. But let me just take a look and see if there's any of that puddling. There is some puddling of the plating. And Juliana pieces are supposed to puddle in like a figure eight shape. This is very suspect. It might be one. So that's fun. I'm going to put that aside and see if it might be one of those pieces. And you know when you turn it this way, you can't tell as much about the dark stone. So, okay, aside it goes. Napier earrings. Beautiful. These are gorgeous. These are called lever backs, right? With the little lever back, lever in the back. Pierced earrings. Oh, those are just gorgeous. They're silver tone with like a faux pearl inside. Brand new in the package like that. Let's see, are they marked too? They should be. It's always good to make sure that's really what's on the package. So let me have a look and see. Let me loop it, baby, loop it. Wow, so definitely marked on the back right there. Beautiful, beautiful earrings. I'm always, this is the point where I'm always like, do I offer it or do I put them in my vintage lots? I don't know. I don't want to be mean to you guys and not offer all the vintage or Napier, but. Okay, I'm going to say 12 on these because even though they have a 14, we don't know how long ago that was. So with inflation, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So we'll say 12 on the Napier, and if it's too much for you guys, then I'll put that to my 
vintage items, but I don't think it's too much for Napier at all. So another silver bangle bracelet. Let me get my lights closer. My other light is, I have the legs of it hidden under this rag, so not rag, but beautiful, beautiful white linen that I bought. So I'm turning this around to see if there's any name or any signature inside. There is not. It's a silver tone bangle, and we'll say $2 on that. If you need a measurement, it measures two and almost two and a half. Okay, let's keep it going. Ooh, this is a pretty one. And it's caught in a necklace. Let me bring these over so you can see. So I did get a new microphone. I forgot to mention that on my last video. It's the same kind of little clip-on microphone that you clip into your iPhone and you clip onto your shirt, but it's a new one, so I thought maybe that would help with the sound because sometimes the sound comes out a little bit not loud enough. So let me know what you think. Does it sound better? The first couple of videos I recorded without the microphone, and it does not sound as good as having the microphone, so it does definitely add some quality. Okay, lots of beautiful goodies here. I think I saw that this was missing one. Yes, isn't that a shame? That is so gorgeous. Look at the sparkle. So I'm going to put that aside for our craft bag since it's too big for our craft cup. So that's two down. This one looked like there was some signature in it right away. So I'll have to look at that. Yes, there is right here on the end. Oh, that's exciting. Let's see if you guys can see it first. Now, I have to tell you, I've been watching some other YouTubers. And, oh my gosh, you guys said that I was doing the zoom in too quickly. And I think they all do it quickly. They were like zooming in and out and I was like feeling sick. So I thought, well, I don't feel so bad that I made the mistake, but I certainly am working on not doing that. Okay, now I have to look through this loop, which only goes straight at an angle. So it's not easy to see inside of there or inside of a ring, because if I stick it right there, well, then I can't look through it. So, and it's not focused. Just telling you my troubles. Okay, can I tell you some of my jewelry troubles? It's, what are you saying? It says, oh, I don't know, I can't see it. A-T-I-B-R. And then there's a C on the bottom. Some kind of signature. Got beautiful hearts that have rhinestones in them. Come on, my baby camera. Okay, that's better. And sometimes if I just bring it up to the camera, it does fine. I'm amazed at this iPhone, older iPhone, that it does such a great job. So we have some sweet, sweet hearts full of rhinestones on a silver cuff that is signed, but I don't know what the signature means. Let me look at the other side, see if it might say Sterling or something. And our always telltale sign is the magnet so it doesn't magnet and I don't know about that name it does easily adjust so if you needed it to be bigger or smaller and that tarnish on the end looks like it might be sterling I guess I'm gonna have to put this aside and see if I can find something out about it quickly before the end of the video I say that sometimes and don't get to it but I'll try my best I promise Oh, this is so beautiful, but it does have some copper coming through. Now let's do our little polish trick and see if that's just sterling silver that's tarnishing or if it's really worn. Because you'll be surprised. There have been pieces I thought, oh, that's not sterling, it's copper. But sterling, when it's tarnishing, can give a copper hue. 
Gee, I don't know. You know, it's kind of going away. But I don't want to take a lot of time. All right, let's look at some other factors. Let's see, first of all, if it's got a name to it. Anybody home? Oh, maybe you push this button. Okay, it just says quartz. It's so pretty, though. Um, hmm. So fancy and pretty. But I think that's intentional. Now, the chain has that same kind of a copper look to it. It's a lobster clasp. And I don't think it's going to be sterling. But let's just take a peek. All right, so I guess we have a beautiful hanging clock watch stopwatch thing that opens this way. It does look like some silver is coming through. I mean, some copper. Oh, but it's fancy. It's pretty. And if you do like it, you're welcome to it for $3. Now, I'm curious, does it... Yeah, when it says quartz, it needs a battery, so it's not a wind-up one. Yeah, so maybe someone can make something of that, or maybe not at all. Or maybe I should just put it in the craft jar. It's a decision time when you open these bags of jewelry. There's a lot of decisions to make really fast. It's not always easy. Stretch bracelet. Very beautiful, but the stretch is a bit stiff. So again, in our craft bag, we're going to have these gorgeous rhinestones. Wow, it's going to be a nice craft bag. In fact, this would fit in our gen jar. Let's just put that as our first deposit in our craft jar. Yay, that's fun. I love doing that. Okay, this is so cute. I love bracelets like this. So easy to put on. And it's got a couple little pearls on it, which I can't rub together because they're already on there. Rubbing them together, I mean to test if they're pearls. Hmm. All right, let's go with our magnet test. Does not magnet. Looking to see if there are any marks anywhere. And now I will look at the bracelet with the loop. The pearls have a beautiful luster. They do look to be drilled. But I'm not seeing a mark for silver. And it's so hard to be under pressure to take the time to really look at stuff. Um, okay, I'll put it aside. And maybe we'll do, yeah, we'll do a silver test on it. I forgot, that's fun. You guys enjoy that. Okay, what have we got here? A necklace? No. This looks like a brooch. Now, is that like the Juicy Couture signature? Not signature, but, you know, logo? I don't know. I would think it would be marked, but I don't see a mark. I think this is one of those pieces that is going to call for some discussion in the comments. So maybe you can leave a comment and tell me what you think. Also, did you know that when people leave a comment, it um, helps the video. It helps YouTube to know, hey, there's something to talk about over there. And it's a little bit sticky, so I'm trying to rub it off. But when the comments, when you guys comment, it helps the channel. So that's your way also to support the channel, if you'd like to, to um, leave comments because it boosts up the video. YouTube feels like more people are watching it, and I'm repeating myself. <laughs> okay, we have a pair of Alfani's. Hypoallergenic. They look like they're from Macy's. Let's see what I can make out from this. Um, probably hypoallergenic hoop something. So a Macy's pair of earrings. Brand new condition. I would say they're not sterling. They're awfully pretty. We'll do four dollars on those. Wow, we've got chains and tangles and things. Ooh, what is this? It's fun when I go along and I see some of the things that I saw in the picture when I picked out this box because I spend a lot of time looking at the pictures of the 
box for sale on shopgoodwill.com. It's one of the ways that I pick which boxes I'm going to buy or try to buy because you can't always win the bid. So this is not magneting, but I'm not seeing any maker's mark or evidence that it's going to be gold. It's pretty. It's nice and thin. It's very lightweight for those who need that. You'd be surprised. That's another thing that I that I found on when I was listening to other videos. Sometimes people would say, this is just costume. This is just plastic. And I don't know. I don't think anything is just that because you've got people that need all kinds of jewelry. I know that I have neuropathy in certain areas and I can't have something touching my foot because it has neuropathy. So I have to be careful of that. And some people might have neuropathy in their hands or their wrists and might need lightweight jewelry. So I'm just letting you know my train of thought and why I don't try not to call something just this or just that. And what if someone loves that item? You don't want to insult them either. That's, I mean, jewelry is a very personal thing. So and by no means am I saying I'm some perfect person. I'm just saying that I noticed on some videos I was watching that some people would often say just plastic and plastic is a very very great um, part of jewelry over the years and still continues to be all right enough gabbing this is a nice lightweight beautiful gold tone bracelet with some rhinestones all around the outside it's very pretty and there's nothing missing so I'm going to say we'll do $4 on this beautiful baby. All right, so maybe I should take a minute to remind you of what my email address is. If you're interested in purchasing anything, just email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com and give me the name of the video the episode number, the timestamps of the pieces, and the prices given. And I'll be able to find those pieces pretty quick and get back to you. But if I don't have that information, it will take a long time because we'll have to email back and forth. This is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It's a multi-layered, beautiful toggle clasp, filigree end caps, and it's either coral or faux coral. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. This is so beautiful. Oh, neat. So in a toggle, this is the way they have it. Like you can wear it two different sizes because you could toggle it there or toggle it here. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. I am loving this. I don't think there's any mark, but it's always worth looking. I would say it's a vintage piece. Let me try to see if I can tell if these are, yeah, they do look like they're acrylic. And they're meant to imitate um, coral, which really was a very popular color at a certain time in jewelry history. So I don't know a ton of things, but... If I were to guess when this was made, hmm, I hate to put myself on the spot here, but I would say in the 60s, maybe. Let me show you on the neck. It's so pretty. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? All right, so what do I ask for this? There's nothing missing. So pretty. Oh, I'll measure it for you, too. I told you I was a little out of practice, right? Because I have been busy. And then I made that other video to share my thrift store haul because I wanted to give you guys something to look at. But I didn't want to commit myself to have to fulfill orders at the beginning of the week because I was too busy. So this measures 17 inches. So you could toggle it at actually yes actually 18 inches so you could toggle it a little bit less than that 
That's a beautiful necklace. Oh my goodness, I'm going to say $18 on this. Fantastic shape. Another bracelet. I think they're getting all the bracelets in one bag here. This looks like a butterfly. A couple butterflies on the ends. Maybe you could adjust it. Uh, I think I'll just put that maybe in the craft bag at the end. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just, yeah, not. it's not wonderful. So we'll put that there. Ooh, what is this? I really want to see what this is. And that earring looks like it's marked. This is very cool. So cool. Okay, what are you doing here, though? Oh, the change just needs to be brought through here. Oh, that is so pretty. Is that glass or acrylic? Wow, I can't tell. Usually I can tell right away by the feel of it. It might be glass. It's on a Rolo chain. It's in terrific condition, gold tone. Isn't that a pretty, pretty necklace? I love anything that looks like ice, you know? So when you get to the extender, it kind of turns a little bit into silver tone, or maybe it's a little bit of wear right there. Just be aware of that. Let me turn on Miss Prissy, because she can tell me if it's glass at least. Hi, Miss Prissy. Time to wake up and get to work. I had to put some little pencil over her eyes because I noticed in some of the videos my lights were reflecting so much on her eyes that she looked mean. <laughs> it looked like, I don't know how to describe it, but I couldn't see it from here, but when I watched the video, I could see it there, so it looked terrible. So I tried to put a little bit of pencil over them to sort of um, make it not so reflective. And I just might have to make some different eyes in the future. All right, maybe I'll just show you on the neck while she's heating up. How gorgeous this is. Oh my goodness. And it's quite long. So it's going to be very adjustable in many areas. You could pretty much wear it anywhere. So beautiful. Let's see if you are glass. If it's not, it's acrylic that's done very beautifully. Yeah, I think it's acrylic. Goes up a teeny bit in the glass, but not enough, I don't think, to make me think it is. Gosh, it is so close to looking like glass. What a beautiful piece. Now I need to measure it for you, right? Hmm, it's going to take a bit. It's a long piece. Get our measuring tape all extended. Don't really have a long, long desk here, so we're going to have to do it like this. And if this is not, if this is making you nervous about the length, um, just email me and I'll get a very exact measurement because it's tough on the video to get it all the way across the table and show you this big long necklace. But I'm being very careful, so. It's measuring 34 inches all the way to the end, so. Don't think I'd be worried about it being too small in any way. And again, you can clasp it anywhere because it's um, all a Rolo chain. So that's so pretty. And I would say $12 on that. Okay, look at these earrings right next to each other. I love that about this. Aren't they beautiful? There's like um, the pink enamel is sort of a mauve color. That's what I want to say. Remember in the 80s, everything was mauve? Mauve, mauve, mauve. But I did notice they were marked, and now I'm going to get to see what they say. Oh, are you kidding me? You're fooling me. You're making it look like you're marked, but you're not. Hmm. Why would they put, like, a ripple there? I don't know, but it's not marked. Unless, I don't know, from far away it looks like it says Monet. But I'm not going to say that it does when I'm not exactly sure. 
Yeah, when, right from here, it definitely looks like it says Monet. So, pair of Monet in mauve or in a sort of purpley pink. Super adorable. I'll say eight on the Monets. Oh, look at this. Don't make me miss my doggy. Don't you make me miss my doggy. I can't handle that. I get to thinking about him and still to this day, I could just ball because he was the love of my life. I'm so blessed to have had him though. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the wait for your mate board. And look at this piece, what? Wow. Wow, that's beautiful. Hmm. It's like a pink stone. They're definitely crystal. They're faceted. And this beautiful color gold filigree panel necklace, I guess you'd call that a panel necklace. Let's see, are they prong set? Yes, they are. They're actually prong set on the back, which is really cool. And you can see this piece that the dangling pieces are prong set too. Wow, this is so gorgeous. I just don't know. I hope it's marked because I don't think I've seen anything like that. The gold color is just gorgeous. It's not an antique gold. It just looks like a, like an 18 or more of a 24 karat gold. Look at this necklace. That's stunning. Really beautiful. Wow, okay. I know I'm in awe, I know I'm in love, but I have to keep moving on and let you guys know what the price is. Oh, I didn't realize, look at this little end to it too. That's pretty fancy. That's a very fancy way to hook it in there. Right, that's where you'd hook it? No, sometimes I just wanna slap myself. <laughs> All right, you hook it here. But that's a fancy way to, fancy little doodad on the end. You know, like if there was a little pearl hanging there, that was their fancy doodad, like that. You guys probably knew that. I'm just like discovering it now, feeling like a silly McGillicuddy. All right, since I have the neck here, I'm going to put it on the neck because it's so beautiful. Oh, but I don't know what to ask for this. Oh my goodness. If I describe the color, it's like, I can't say it's peach, it's not peach. It's definitely pink, but it's like, um, like a golden pink, that's what I wanna say. But, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Okay, I'm just gonna say, I have to think about what it would sell for on eBay or online and then drop the price for you guys. So I'm gonna say 25. I mean, come on, it's so beautiful. And let me measure it. I get so excited that I forget to measure and do those other things. So beautiful, 16 inches. Oh, can I just please look at it longer? you guys get mad at me if I just keep looking at it? Oh, I love it. What a gorgeous piece. That's definitely going to be in my thumbnail. Okay, we have... Oh, it's a pierced earring. That's different. Okay, I don't know if this is supposed to hang down or what's going on, but I'm just going to put it on the wait for your mate board, and we'll see. Okay. Oh, I didn't sing the song. Forgot to sing it. This looks like a silver tone. Oh, that's pretty. It's like a carved rose. And silver tone, not seeing any marks, but 
wait for your mate, wait for your mate. You know you gotta wait for your mate. Ta-da! Ooh, let's look at this ring. As you can see from my last vintage haul, I showed you these rings. I still have them on. They're just, this one's so pretty. I still don't, it's like a cubic zirconia, but it's got a silvery color. And this is sterling, as you might have seen in the other video. And if you didn't see the other video, I hope you'll go watch it. It was quite fun. I think I may have gotten a little too excited when I went back to proof watch the video. I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys, you're going to faint. You're not going to believe this. And maybe I was a little too excited. I don't know, but I hope it was fun. I feel like, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed that maybe I was too excited, but I think some of you enjoyed it. Okay, this is probably not sterling. I am not seeing a mark. It did magnet a teeny bit. Now, one of my favorite YouTubers is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures. To me, she's like, she's the queen of jewelry unboxing and jewelry in general. I love her to death, and she says on her videos that sometimes sterling silver can be slightly magnetic. Now, I'm not saying this is a sterling ring. I'm just talking because the thought came to me. And she said that not often did she find a piece that did magnet and was sterling, but there have been times because sterling silver is 92.5% sterling and 7.5% something else. So there's a chance once in a while that it can be um, a different metal that can magnet a teeny bit, but just saying that for info's sake. I'm not saying that this is sterling. So this is a size 7 silver tone ring. Lovely design. Probably silver plated. It's in great condition. And I'm going to say $5 on the ring. Looks like we have a pair of hoopy hoops. Let's do the magnet tests. That's usually the quickest. And they are magneting up at the top part. So we have some silver tone hoops. They have like a sort of a hammered design. They're in good condition. And I'll say $2 on the silver tone hoops. Another reason I couldn't open another bag of jewelry, just to let you know, is because I had to you know, process the other jewelry that didn't sell. I can't have too much stuff sitting around. And I know that might hurt my channel. I hope it doesn't, but there are just times I have to get things organized before I can get myself into more stuff, you know? So it's a lot of work and I'm very happy to do it. But there's a lot more that goes on than just us sitting here at the video and opening the bag. The fun part for you guys is that you get to just watch the video and you don't have to deal with all the the business stuff, but I like it very much. Okay, what have we got here? I guess this is sort of like a price tag. And it is marked. Looks like a bunch of bracelets, but are they supposed yes, they stretch. Oh, they're on those old stretchers. Old stretcher sounds like a hospital bed. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like an old rubber band with like rubber around it. I don't know if I'm describing it well, but it's like woven around it. That's a really nice stretch material to use. That's what I want to say. So this is in really good shape. And I was about to look at the tag and what happened? I got yapping again. Yappy girl. Nine West. That's what I thought it might be. All right, let's get the price tag off. Let's liberate this thing. Hitchhiker. I need to, like, come up with a hitchhiker song or something. Nine West gold bracelet um, with a sign. With a, with, a, with a sign on it. No, with a signature on it. Um, really cute. I'm going to say $4 on that. Because as you can see, it's brand new. Silver Forest, handcrafted in the U.S. Abalone and surgical steel. 
Wow. So that is abalone back there. I had another bracelet that had abalone that looked like that. I wasn't sure if it was because usually we see it in, you know, different, another color, like more of a rainbowish. But this is a deep blue. It is beautiful. So there's three different or four different parts to it. Look at that. So you've got that blue on the back with a little hanging ball. Then you've got that piece and you've got this filigree piece like a leaf. And then you've got the abalone. Those are beautiful. Wow. So abalone surgical steel ear wire. So we know they're not sterling, but they're surgical steel. And I would tend to believe that, that that is what they came on because it says abalone and there's abalone. So those are beautiful. I'm going to say $10 on those. Surgical steel is just as good at wearing as um, sterling. So this is a cutie baby. It's just a little, little gold ball stretch bracelet with some stones on it and I'm going to add that to our gen jar, our craft jar. Nothing wrong with it, just adding it there. And this I'm guessing is probably a vintage sterling chain. You just kind of get to know after a while looking at things what some things might be. But I've got to look for marks too. Hmm. Not seeing any marks, which is not, it's not, it's not too promising that it would be sterling without any marks on it. It sure looks real, though. The patina on it is very lovely, but sometimes you've got to really, really, really look. Because it might say stir for sterling, like on the other end of the, the chain. Not seeing that. Let me see. Oh, I should have done that first. See? This is a real looking sterling chain. It's not real, but it looks real. I don't know what to do with that. Maybe add it to... Yes, this is our first item in our jewelry jar. So, all wearable pieces. Our jewelry jar, not our craft jar, is going to be named Christina. Christina is going to get that first wearable patina Sterling silver plated chain. So that's what goes in there. This is so pretty too, and it's in really great condition. Nice heavy heart pendant on a very heavy Rolo chain. Lobster clasp. Really bright gold. No marks. Certainly beautiful. And I would say $4 on this. Wow, what a good weight that is. Nice and heavy. Heavier things make them hang nicely, too, depending on how you want to wear them. And it is 14, 15, 15 inches. Let's see what happens when we open it this way. Because some people say there's a big difference. I'll go from here to here, and it is 15 and a quarter. So not much different. I think you really have to have an eye for what you're doing. Like, you have to spatially really picture it. So we'll put the clasp back on there. It's in really good condition. And, yeah, let me know if you like that. What is going on here? Okay, look at this. Who took the time to wrap, bitty wrap this around? I don't think it's part of the design. Well, you know I can't stand it. I'm going to have to unwrap it. But let me see if it says anything here. There's two clasps. Not only is it wrapped all around the pendant, but these two clasps are clasped together. Like, why? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe somebody just... I don't know. But I can't stand it. I gotta see what's going on here. 
Maybe some of you already know what it is and why there's two class, but I don't. So we're going to find out together. I hope you guys are having a really good week. We're starting to get warmer weather, which is a lot of fun. And I'm going to have to go outside tomorrow and see if my seeds that I planted are doing anything. Because I do love to garden, but... Okay, so it looks like it has like a crystal over here. And this chain that somebody wrapped all the way around with two clasps. I don't know what to make of it. Don't think it's marked. Doesn't look um, sterling. Let me see what this little piece of crystal does. It actually does nothing. So why don't we put that in our craft jar? You have some pieces of chain. You've got two clasps if you need it. And in the gin craft jar. Not too bad. We can always make use of something. Oh my gosh. Okay, you already know how I feel about vintage jewelry. Can you believe this earring? Four huge light blue crystal beads, all prong set. Oh my gosh, I just want to faint. I think I'm going to faint. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't mean to get so excited about something but i can't help it it's so beautiful okay there's got to be another one because one thing about this box again is that it's been very good quality and the others have been there well i can't do the wait for your mate and stick that on the box so i'm gonna put it right here where i can stare at it but this little dude i will put on the box on the styrofoam board and wait for your mate. Okay, what's next? I'm dying to find that other earring now. Like maybe I can just dig a little bit and find it. Because it shouldn't be too far. And it really shouldn't be hard to see because it's so beautiful. Oh, there's some gorgeous things in here, guys. Oh my goodness, look at that baby. Oh, the kitty cat. That's so beautiful. And look, the back is open so the light can shine through the stones. Oh boy, this does need to be bent out a little. It's kind of shoved in there. Oh, I love him, her, whoever. I think I'm going to have to keep this one. I hope you're not mad at me, but... Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. I'll let you know. I'll think about it as the video goes on because I do have to make some money. I do have to sell things big time and I can't be keeping things. But sometimes if you fall in love, you just got to let the love be. <laughs> let the love of the piece be what it is and either buy it for yourself or keep it for yourself. You just got to do that once in a while because it makes you feel great when you look at it or you wear it. We don't need everything we see, but sometimes we should have what we need. This is very beautiful. Gorgeous stones. It's got like an emerald blue. I mean, sorry, emerald cut like cobalt blue with a milky blue stone there and the green ones on the top. Now, I would think there'd be a maker on this because it looks very much like a very nice Anne Klein or J. Crew or something piece, but it must have lost its hang tag. So we're just going to have to go with that. It's a gorgeous glass, slightly statement necklace, prong set pieces. I think it's a bit vintage, beautiful. I would say we'll do... Eight dollars on this and I'll give you a measurement. It's super nice quality. Very nice quality in the glass and the prongs and in those stones. That's why I wish I knew the maker because it helps to solidify what you think. 
So it is 16 inches, and then you have a good four inch or more um, extension. Quite beautiful. Those are like a peridot green, but a little bit darker. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, you know we're not going to make it through this bag. I mean, this is just... The metallic bags are usually the ones that take the longest because they don't have bigger beads and bigger things. They're all chains and little things like that. So, But that's okay. We'll get through it, and we'll, that's what we're here to do. Enjoy looking at all the jewelry. Now, I'm not sure what's going on here. I think these are painted faux pearls. Oh, there's the clasp. And we have some flowers, some kind of a heart thing. And again, maybe a Celtic design. Can't be sure. That's really cool. And that's a beautiful purple color. So it's different all the way around. And that's a really pretty pearl. I wonder if that's real. And no, I'm not putting on my teeth. If I can rub it against another pearl, which... I don't think this is going to have, then I would, but I don't. These are glass. And does this maybe, maybe it hooks like this or something? Okay, where'd that glass go? Here it is. No, that's just part of the design. Okay, so here's the clasp. This is very different. I mean, so different. I don't think I've seen anything this in this design I don't think it's sterling it does have some of that you know where they darken it to make it look older but it's quite beautiful so here's what the designs are again it's got some that's acrylic but some of it is glass and it's a pretty piece <clears throat> excuse me yeah, I think it can be worn very long, or it can be doubled. I'll get you a measurement on how long it is. Again, it's going to be a long necklace, so i figure out a way to get it across my table so that I can measure 32 inches at least. Let's do the magnet. Yes, it magnets. It's a pretty piece. There's not a lot of wear. So I'm going to say $5 on that very, very, what should I say, uh, decorative piece. Very decorative. Ooh, what is this? Wow, that's pretty. It's got some dust on it, and it's marked. So, dust, dust, dust in your eyes, dust everywhere. That's a Roy Rogers song. I think it was one of his first songs that he made a hit on. And if any of you have listened to me gab long enough, you know I love, love Roy Rogers. I just discovered his movies not that long ago, and I can't get enough of them. His voice is beautiful. His horse is beautiful. His wife is beautiful. Just wiping this off. And the movies are just such good quality, you know, good morals and... I love Roy Rogers, so that's what that dust made me think of. KC. I don't know who KC is, but I guess I could find out. It's a very beautiful brooch. Very nicely detailed with the pearl in the middle. Even like red there. and Gorgeous. Really gorgeous. So that goes into the pile of do a little research. Do a little boogie, do a little research. Okay, this is an earring. That's different. It's like very, I don't know, lots of different levels to it. Are you marked anywhere? I don't think so. And it is magnetic, so he's going to go wait for his mate. Oh, it's got like a hammered texture. Oh, I feel really intimidated right now. There's a lot to get through. Okay, what is this? Oh, that's an earring. So it goes in your ear here. 
I hope I'm doing okay, you guys, because I keep forgetting to look into my phone camera to see if I'm in focus. But that's the earring goes in your ear here, and then, of course, the back goes here. Does not magnet. It does suspiciously look gold. I know, too, that when I bring the piece toward me and the, the loop, that I'm sort of covering my microphone and it makes my voice sound different. So that's when I try to talk quieter to make up the difference. Like when I used to sing, I could hold the microphone, you know, further away or closer as my volume changed. But you can't do that when you're using both hands to go through jewelry. I don't see any marks yet. I'm just going to put it on our wait for your mate board and see what happens. This is so pretty. Again, I want to say deco look to it, like an art deco look. It does have that very distinct look to it. No magnet. Put it aside. We have a pair of hoops. I might just put all the earrings aside and like look at them all at once so it doesn't take forever on the video. But at least I want you to see what's coming out of the bag, so let's do that. Earrings aside. Let's see, I gotta find another pile to make. Okay. Oh, this is a Monet with a really old tag on it. Isn't that precious? And it's got like a textured edge to it. That's beautiful. And it's signed right in there. I think that's cool. I think someone might really love that on eBay maybe with the little sweet tag and the original condition. So I'm gonna put that in my my cell pile. I mean if you so much love it then just message me but we shall see. This is another lightweight bracelet. Some cute little crystals on it. Not magneting. These are the kind that can drive you crazy because you got to look at them, and they're tiny. They don't magnet, and you don't want to just throw something that is gold aside. You'd be surprised how many things are. Um, I'm just going to put this in our... Let's put this one, because it's wearable, in our Christina jar. Wearable bracelet, nothing wrong with it. Hey, how did this get in there? You know what? When I threw this, because I tossed it behind me for now, it must have gone right in the jewelry jar. That's funny. Too, too funny. Okay, Zad. I had something with the signature on it once, and I couldn't get anywhere with my research. But this one's full of flip-flops. Isn't that cute? Blue ones, pink and green, and they have rhinestones on them, too. So let's see what kind of clasp it has. There it is, a lobster clasp. Cute little um, flip-flop bracelet. And I think I'm gonna put this in our wearable jar too. So into, into Christina you go. And I do already have some other things that I'm gonna put in the jar. So maybe I'll just do a little bit of that now. So I didn't hear from anyone on this Millefiori necklace, so it's going to go in our jewelry jar. Yep. And where's my little face? So I can make you laugh. And is anybody home? Yay, somebody's home. I think I'm going to leave that in there, and you guys can have it. Whoever gets the jewelry jar, you can have the... The cute little face that we used on those videos. So that's like a Millefiori glass. And these beautiful earrings with the how light. Those are going in our jewelry jar. This is all wearable jewelry. And yes, you can wear it or, or whatever you want to do. Sell it or something else. And this gorgeous baby with the cherry colored acrylic stretch bracelet excellent condition 
I love that. I did want to wear it, but I just didn't wear it. So, and some of you might remember this beautiful crystal woven bracelet, the gorgeous bead that goes in our all wearable. We have a ring that goes in our all wearable with the Rivoli stone and a pair of silver silver plated hoops. I had written silver plated on there. So those go in. And oh yeah, this gorgeous bracelet on brass with the cloisonne on it. Wow, my phone is saying low battery. That's weird. Okay, I guess I better fix it. Okay. All I can do is hope that that charger works because I bought a new one and it's not working. So this is a Labradite bracelet. This is the one that has the like the um, M and then the elephant and the X. I never did figure out what that was and a couple of people did comment, but I'm just going to put it in the wearable. It's very beautiful. And these adorable orange earrings carol for either gram those go in there i probably should finish our jewelry jar just because if my battery dies i want to have accomplished something okay we have these silver tone earrings that have some crystals caged inside quite beautiful and we have these adorable starfish uh, ceramic cuties. Those go in. I have a pair of sodalite earrings that go in. And this very nice signed bracelet. Um, let me see the name again. Skinny by Jessica something. Really nice condition. In our wearable jewelry jar. Sorry about the noise. We have this turquoise color chip bracelet. I think we tested it and it's sort of different quartz. These really cute earrings, aren't they pretty? Those go in. I'm gonna put this sterling silver ring in there. It is very vintage. It has like, I don't know if someone sized it or what they did, but it has a little thing there, so. Well, maybe that should go in the craft jar. I don't know. Um, I'll think about it a minute. I want to do this right for you guys. So here's a double zebra pin. And these beautiful earrings with different layers on them. I think that might be a slice of coral. A couple of different metals. This nice big ring, the stretch ring with the red stone. Oh, here's that bracelet I was telling you about that has abalone. That I wasn't sure if it was abalone, but now that I saw those other earrings we have, I guess it is abalone. So, hooray for the person that gets the jewelry jar. Very nice. Isn't that cute? That moonstone ring. So cute. Cunning baby. That cunning baby's going in there. These are so pretty. I can't believe you guys didn't buy these. They're gorgeous. But maybe someone will come along and say, ooh, I love them, and I'll take them in the jewelry jar. They look very much Papesco to me. And we've got this faux turquoise howlite bracelet with a feather. This cute pair of earrings. They are on brass. And I think they're shell. What else, Shara Shara? Shara has this silver tone bracelet to go in the all wearable. And this, like, um, what do I want to say? Alex and Annie style with the pink rhinestones. All wearable. And then these cute little chain link with rhinestone earrings. That goes in there. We've got this set that's a Charming Charlie necklace and earrings. And that goes in our all wearable. 
What else? Oh, these sterling silver and cubic zirconia earrings. I mean, you could sell those on eBay yourself for 20 bucks, so that's a good thing. And you know what? I'm just going to put this bracelet with the pearls on it. I was going to look into it, but I'm going to put it in here. And I'm going to add this too, because these jars are great for bracelets. It looks like we might need maybe another thing or two. So what have I got? What have I got that I could put in there? Let me see, see, see. Hmm. How about this pretty necklace with all the different colors? We could put this in there. I think that's shell. All different color shell necklace. Yeah, that kind of fills it up enough. And that looks good. We'll just toss these in the top. So this is our Christina all wearable jewelry jar. And we did put some sterling in there, right? Yes, we certainly did. Soda light and all kinds of things. And these are $30. So $30 on the Christina all wearable jewelry jar. Yay, we got that accomplished. Bravo! I'm going to put the sterling ring in the Jen craft jar. So I hope it's not getting confusing having the two things going at the same time. So this necklace had lost a rhinestone and all the time I kept trying to figure out what it was. But I do think that's turquoise or how light there. Silver tone, the beautiful butterfly, but it has that one missing. And it's that, it's that signature that made me crazy, Da Vinci. But we thought it was you and I, or maybe you and I and Da Vinci both look the same. I don't know, but oh my gosh, that was so funny. It kept making me crazy, but I'm going to put it in the craft jar. That's my whole point. It has one little stone missing, but it's going to go in. just don't want it to take up all the room. Well, you know I'm going to stuff that with good things, so... Not an issue. All right, let's see what else we can get done in this bag because, my goodness, I've got a long way to go. Ooh, that's a gorgeous earring. It looks like someone took vintage stones and rewrapped them in wire because, wow, I've not seen this. But then I've not seen those kind of prongs on a vintage piece either. Very interesting. Very soft wire it needs to be kind of fixed and shaped. So on the board. Oh, neat. These are rings. Something Avenue needs a wipe. What happened to you? Oh, that's my magic marker on there. It's so funny. I heard another New Englander say magic marker, and now I'm saying it. I remember that we used to call them magic markers when we grew up, but is it a New England thing or is it an American thing that we just used to say? I heard them say magic marker. I'm like, I forgot about that. Okay, are these stretchy? They are little. <laughs> That's so cute. They're little stretch rings, like a whole band of them. Oh, I love it. They're a pretty color. They're a light blue and a dark blue. Looks like they wanted $9.90 originally. So we'll say... Four dollars on the little stretch rings. They're trying to stay with me. They're trying to say, I want to stay on your finger. Okay, let's take a look at this big, heavy cuff bracelet because we just can't ignore it anymore. It's so pretty. It's like a basket weave. That is very different. So I was telling you that I watched a video one time of this um, guy talking about turquoise. And he said the way to put on a bracelet like this is to find the soft part of your wrist and put the bracelet there and you roll your arm into it. Now I won't be able to do it. Okay, maybe my soft part is there. So you roll into it. And you can get them right on and off. Otherwise, if I'm trying to shove this on and, and fighting with it, it's not as easy. So, yep, you roll it right on. So that's what it looks like on. It's in great condition. And if someone would like that, it is four dollars and it measures two and a half that way. Pretty. 
Oh, there's so much to go through and some really original pieces already so far. So here's another pair of earrings I'm going to put aside and look at later. And a chain that I'm not seeing a class. Here it is. Okay, so it's an older spring ring. And I can either look at it for marks or do the magnet test. It is magnetic. It's in good shape. There's nothing wrong with it. So let me think about what I want to do with that. And what are you? Hmm. This looks, um, what were those necklaces we got a lot of in that metallic bag? Oh, I can't believe the name is escaping me. Yeah, I can't think of them. But they had a lot of pieces like this to them. And this makes me think of that. Just doesn't make me think of the name of it. So gold tone. Lots of gold bars, gold tone bars. It's very pretty and good shape. And I would say $4 on this. And let me try to measure it because it's not easy with that shape. Okay, so it's about 15 inches and then you have a good three inch extender. It's nice weight to it. It's um, The bars have a little texture to them. It probably looks very nice on. I feel like I'm rushing to get through some of this, which I hate to do because I want you to really see the pieces, especially if you love them. Oh, I see. One side is a shiny, and the other side has like a texture. So it's almost like a twofer. A twofer one. Now, this reminds me of that J. Crew bracelet that I had in the other bag that had all the pave rhinestones. Absolutely gorgeous. Only this one is a necklace. Hmm. Oh, it's very pretty. Let's see. It looks like there's a name. Oh, it's that double G thing. That makes me crazy. Nope, that's not where you're supposed to focus. There you are. Or is it a, an R? Sorry. Oh, it's Banana Republic. I'm sorry. Okay, so there is some gold tone worn here. But once you get to this part, it's not as worn. But it's going to take some time for me to see if there's any rhinestones missing. I might just put this in craft because if there is some missing, it's got a little bit of fuzz, then I don't want to feel bad that I didn't see it. And because of a little bit of wear on it, I'm going to put this in craft. Wouldn't these make some really beautiful earrings if you took it apart and sort of hung those? So maybe someone from our jewelry hospital would enjoy crafting with that. Banana Republic necklace from our Jen jar. Our Jen the craft jar. Now, did I just put this aside or what? No, I put that aside before. This is quite heavy. I'm going to see about that all at once. This is blue stone. Oh, this is so cute. It's got hearts with very cobalt blue, probably glass in it. Very interesting. Let's see if it magnets. It does. Oh, my magnet came apart. You get back on there. So we have a silver tone bracelet, cobalt blue color glass, and all these designs. And let's see, should I put it in the craft? It does have a little bit of wear right there. Yeah, I'm going to put it in our gen jar. Got some good things going in there already. Some nice crystals for sure. Um, and this is a cool sort of metal fabric earring. Wait for its mate. 
And what have we here? Oh my gosh, the pile is so heavy still to go through. It's going to be great. I'm going to enjoy it. Very nice bracelet here. And it looks like those Pandora types that close. Or that's where you close the end of it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So that would snap down in here. I don't want to force it until I know what I'm doing because I want to be careful. But let me see if they say anything on them at least. I'm not seeing any words, but there's some owls, rhinestones, different more owls and stars. Oh, the owls are so cute. And these are crystal. And some of them are marked. So these are marked 925 on the side, but I'll have to check them. So I'll just have to look this over and see how the whole thing pans out, like how it all tests and everything. And I'll try to do that with you on the next video because I don't think we're going to get to all of that. So that's another one that needs to be checked out. I feel bad because one time I made a call on a bracelet. It was such a heavy bracelet, almost 60 ounces. And 60, 60 ounces, you break your arm. It was almost 60 grams of silver. And I asked for a certain amount, and it was such a low amount. And I had to say, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. And they got very mad at me, really mad at me. And I apologized up and down. I just, there's nothing else I could do about it. This has to go in craft. So I want to be a little more careful and put things aside when I need to. It makes it not as much fun to be able to put prices on something right away. But, you know, sometimes you got to keep going with the flow. There's nothing wrong with those either. But I'm just going to put them there because I see more of them coming out. And maybe we can put them all together and sell them together. This is adorbs, beautiful blue, maybe acrylic, but look at that cute gold tone clip. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. Looks like a little fruit almost. Put that on a board. These are very beautiful. It's like a faux emerald, uh, sapphire, pearl, and ruby. Gorgeous. Those are beautiful. Let me see how many of these we get, too, because I see these two, but maybe another one will pop up. I don't know. Wow, there's some beautiful pieces that are going to come out of here. Okay, let's see. Can I make a call on these bracelets? Here's another one of these I think we put in the craft jar. So this is going to go in our Gen craft jar, and I'll get things down in there much better. I think the first one's silver tone, and the second one is gold tone. So, Okay, these are beautiful. Don't see a mark in them, but they are very, very pretty. And I love how they are having the, you know, the four main precious stones on them. Two and a half inches across, and so pretty. I'm going to say $8 on these, on this pair. Now, for these, that's quite beautiful because you've got the gold tone and silver tone, and if you stack them like that, it's an interesting look. They are open in the back, so the light shines through the stone. There's four of them. They are two and a quarter across, and I'll say four dollars on those. Did we look at this yet? No, but what would be so tiny like that? I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think this is? Maybe it goes around a scarf? I don't think so, because I have no idea what this is, but let me know what you think. It's this small. 
And I don't think someone would give that to a child because of the little rhinestones on it, but it's an inch and a half across. I mean, that's adorable, but I have, my neighbor has a little girl. I'd love to give it to her, but I wouldn't want her to put it in her mouth, you know? So I don't know what that is. Let's see here. I wish I could just pull out the pieces that I want to, but they're kind of all tangled. Wow, there's so much in here. Gorgeous stuff. Look at that. And look at that. Enamel. Looks like copper tone or maybe sterling that's tarnishing. Mm. No, but it's a brooch and it needs to be clean. So put that aside. But wow, look at this silver tone bracelet. It has like a texture behind that tree sort of figure. That's beautiful. Just gorgeous. I hope this is sterling because it is worthy of being sterling. It is 925. This is so beautiful. And it has a Q on the front. Let me see. No, it's not a Q. It's almost like a question mark inside. Like if you know what that is, please do share. I may have to do a Google search on it. But, oh my gosh, that's good and heavy too. What a gorgeous bracelet. Wow. I'll do a little research on this and let you know about it and take a weight of it too. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. Google search that little um, tag on it. And then we can also test the metal. Okay, that was so pretty. I love that one. This looks like a big old clip-on. It is a big old clip-on. Unless someone put this on a clip-on. Don't know, but put that aside for now. Oh, here's another one of those pearl clip bracelets. They're very pretty. Really good shape. I love the pearls on them. These are so easy to put on and off. So it's gold tone. And I'll say $2 on it. Because we need to move along a little bit here. Lots and lots to go. Oh, this is pretty. Gorgeous necklace. Look at the size of those rivolis on it. Rivol rivoli, rivoli. So hammered, hammered silver tone. Links in between. Rolo chain. Gorgeous. Just is. Period. Just beautiful. Does magnet. Wow. I don't see a thing wrong with it. I do think that's glass. And I'll give you a measurement. I love the big Rolo chain. Such a comfortable chain to wear. It is, let's see, 18 inches to, wait a minute. Okay, so if you clasp that there, there we go. Sometimes you just gotta regroup 18 inches and then you've got a three inch extender. And I'm gonna say $8 on this. It's a beauty. Silver tone beauty. Okay, there's so much in here. I know I keep saying that, but I can't help it. This looks like it says Chico's. It's got a little bit of a um, price tag string on it. And does this go to it, or is this something else? Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. Sometimes it's like um, a toggle in the front. It could be that. I don't know, but it's got some beautiful glass. Some blue, black, faceted. She goes just does a great job all the time. Green, turquoise. 
here's a class so then oh so this must have come apart all right now i'm getting it so this goes here and i'll just have to tighten it with the little pliers there we go it's a, like a little tassel thing with the heart that's really pretty i love the colors in it and i love those big blue faceted glass pieces there and all the different colors quite long and again the gold tone is like perfect looks never ever worn so i will definitely tighten that link up and give you a measurement on this beautiful chico's it's 26 inches and you've got another two inches on the extender so there you go did i give a price i'm going to say ten dollars on the chico's and i'm going to set it aside so i remember to tighten up that little piece there but i love that little you know copper all of a sudden there's a little copper heart that's cute so i'm going to put that in my little don't forget to fix pile okay a couple more things i don't want to end but i have to just want to keep going and going. Ooh, these are marked on the back. Let's see what these are. I've got some earrings that are copper. And they have... Oh, they're Swarovski. Swarovski. That's beautiful. Swarovski crystal. And they just need some polishing. Let's see what they're going to... Oh, wow how shiny they get so I will polish these up and they'll come out terrific make sure there's nothing missing on them and I guess I'll have to take a little look into what they go for because they are marked and I'll be able to tell you better on that one okay last one Chico's bracelet I rarely see Chico's bracelets this is gorge. It's got gold tone, silver tone, and some black enamel probably painted on it. What a beautiful bracelet. They do a great job. I think I'm just a Chico's fan because they're pretty stuff. So there you go. Chico's Clamper Magnetic Bracelet. It is two and a quarter go this way same two and a quarter looks so real doesn't it like like nice like like <laughs> like a nice silver color with the gold tone so we'll do five dollars on the chicos okay i'm gonna end it here i'll probably keep taping number episode number four but for now i'm gonna end it here although i should finish our craft jar but let me first just stop a minute because I always forget to and let you know how to purchase. If you want to take a screenshot of this, you're welcome to. And this just tells you my email and the information I need when you do want something that I've offered for sale. This information is so helpful to me because when I have the video name, I can go right to that episode and I just put my finger on the that little red dot and slide over to the time that you tell me and I'll be able to see the piece right on the video because I know it seems like you guys are with me at that moment on the video but I, it's really not like I've done this maybe the day before or hours ago or and maybe three videos ago I did it and I don't remember the piece as well as you may think so the information is very helpful, so please do give that. All right, let's finish filling our gen jar just because we should. I'm going to put that aside so we can get some things in. So this is a, just a gold tone chain with some station pieces on it. And we've got this beautiful art glass with purple in it and some silver tone accents. And another art glass bracelet that needs a stretch fix, so I'm going to put this in there. It's got some nice foil art glass in there. And what else? 
We've got a beautiful cross, wire cross. This is a signed piece, but it has a little bit of discoloration. New York and Company. And I like the stone that's on it and the pendant. So I'm sure whoever, whichever doctor or nurse gets this jewelry hospital jar, they will make something gorgeous out of it. So that is going in. Next is, I told you guys I had all these bracelets that were stone, but the stretch was gone. Let's see, it's been a while. I, I hmm, they're a little bit scratchy. Not sure if they're pearls, but this is glass, pink glass, and you have a nice little pendant there, bracelet pendant. You do something with that. And we have this emerald glass. I think it might be a ring, don't know, but it's beautiful. And another one of these stretch bracelets. Let's see what I have written here. Silver Moonstone with AB Crystals. Isn't that beautiful? Just needs a new stretchy. And you've got, there's your AB Crystal and some silver tone beads. So that's a lot to work with, I hope. And forgive my noise, but I'm going to give it the shakedown. So I can really pack them in there good for you guys. I heard myself on one of the videos shaking at it. And I was like, oh boy, I better be quiet next time. So this has got some gorgeous glass on it. Um, I think I checked the beads and I didn't see anything. But they could be reused. And the reason is because the clasp has some wear on it. So I hope that is really exciting for you. That you will love to do that. And as promised, look at that gorgeous baby. I said I would give some of these on each, each one of the craft jars. This is true crystals. So beautiful. And some of you are going to love this. These are the jade beads with the faux pearls. So real jade, but faux pearls. Pretty funny, huh? And it just needs a new stretch, or you've got a lot of beautiful jade to work with. So this is our craft jar named Jen. What else can I get in there? I'm trying to get as much in there as I can. This is quite a beautiful chain. There's nothing wrong with it. Just has a little bit of wear right there near the spring ring. And I think there's a wire. Is that a wire that's... No, it came right off. Okay. But there's a little wear right there. And I thought, well, someone crafting might need a gold tone chain. That goes in. Gonna... Sorry about that noise. This beautiful pendant. And a couple of stones. Loose pearls I had. This crystal pendant. And just some more fun things. So there you go. The gen jar. Whoops, I forgot to add that at the top. This is a craft jar. And we've had a great time making these over our videos. And it weighs 15 ounces. 15.10. So almost a pound. I will go put some bubble wrap on the top of that and tape it off and whoever would like that just be the first one to email me for the gen jar and don't forget about the the um, all wearable jewelry jar that i listed earlier so that what do i do for these twenty dollars oh that scared me to death this bead rolled by and it scared me oh okay i think i do twenty dollars on these and i just found another beautiful little gem twenty dollars on the craft jar so thank you so much. I'm glad that you joined me. I hope that you'll subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already. And please leave me some comments because those help the video. And if you'd like to support the channel, give a thumbs up. Go click the like button. Do it right now if you like the video. Go ahead and like it. I forget too often. So please go click the like button and it's really going to help the channel. And I thank you so very much. Thanks for being with me. We'll see you next time at the Bobbles.